We're good. All right. Happy New Year's. Uh, what I'm going to talk today about is a new product that we've released for the Cycle Analyst, which is a digital auxiliary input button. Um, so here you see it. It's a button system that slides on your handlebar and has two buttons, up and down, up and down. Pretty simple, straightforward concept. Uh, what's great about this is it uses the existing auxiliary input plug that's present on the Cycle Analyst. In the past, we had two options for the auxiliary input. One of them was a potentiometer. So a potentiometer you can twist a dial and set any of your limits up or down. So that could be the power limit of the cycle analyst, your speed limit, your pedal assist assistance. Um, we also had a three position switch which could discreetly go into three different steps if you didn't want to have the continuous adjustment. The button kind of has the best of both worlds. It has a convenience of a digital input so you can go to known preset values but you're not restricted to just three levels. You can set this up so that you have ten different levels, three levels, two levels, twenty levels uh, depending on your preference. At the moment I've configured the digital buttons to set up my pedal assist level. Um, so you can see if I press the button, I'm increasing here from 0 to 4 the uh, multiplication factor that the motor has amplifying my pedal torque. And it just goes up and down in nine discrete steps. Uh, the configuration setup we've made really quite intuitive, I think. Uh, if you press and hold to get into the setup menu, and now we're in set up our digital aux input. I'm going to illustrate some of the functions here. So at the moment it's a two button switch. You can also, if you're especially doing a do-it-yourself device, uh, set this up to just be a single button. In single button mode, rather than being able to increase and decrease with two buttons, the one button will just cycle through all of them. So if you push the button at, when you're at your maximum, it'll roll over back to your minimum. Um, I'll leave this to the two button hardware, which is what I have on here. Um, and here's where you set what the actual function of the digital button serves. And it's very much similar to the analog potentiometer. You can adjust your pedal assist level. You can adjust presets so that the button will cycle through one, two, or three presets if you want to have whole sets of speed, power, current limits, etc. Um, you can have it control your amps limit, the current limit from the battery pack, the speed limit for the bicycle, uh, the power limit in watts. And this is a new one in the 3.1 firmware that we think will be useful for some setups, and that's a throttle output limit. So you could have it, normally the cycle analyst will go to full throttle when you twist full throttle or have your output at maximum. Uh, this will let you just clamp the throttle voltage. So instead of going to say 3.6 volts, you might want to limit to 3.3, 3.0. And that has the effect of reducing the speed of the motor, but without the potential for oscillations like you get when you set an explicit speed limit through the speed limit settings. Um, and uh, so here I'll do an, I'll illustrate setting this up. Say we want our push buttons to control the power limit of the bike. So we'll set power limit as our function. Now, this is, uh, you have the option to set the bike so when you turn it on, it remembers where it was at in the previous setting prior to power up, or you can have it default to being at the minimum value. And here's where you set how many steps you want. So let's say you're really finicky about your power consumption and you want to have a high resolution, we could go maybe 15 different steps for our power limit. And uh, this is a nice feature as well. So when you're setting up your pedal assist, it's kind of handy that the minimum goes to zero. So you can effectively turn your automatic pedal assist right off if you want to pedal the bike without any motor power. In setting up a power limit, there's not too many times when you want to just limit the bicycle to zero watts. You might want to have your minimum, say, 300 watts. Uh, so in this case, I've set a maximum power on the bike to 1,200 watts. So I could start, set my minimum percent to 25% and that will be 300 of those 1,200 maximum wattages. So now as I have it set up, it should be in the minimum position, I'm at 300 watts, and then I should have 15 steps to press up to get myself up to 1,200 watts of power limit. And so you can see this on the preview screen, the minimum value is 25% of the power limit, and then the maximum value takes me up to 9,900%, and then just to confirm, my power limit itself is 1,200 watts, so now we'll exit the setup menu and see where we're at. So down we go, scroll to a minimum. I have 300 watts of peak power, go up to the maximum. I have 1200. So now as I'm riding my bike, depending on how much battery or how much range I want to get, I can just tweak the peak power that it's going to have when I'm riding full throttle and uh, change that on the fly very easily at the push of a button. It lets me preview what that limit's at and then goes back to the normal display screen. 
Uh, one of the greatest features about this new digital aux input function is that it's not an either or decision between having dual buttons for moving up and down or using a potentiometer or a three-way switch. Um, there's actually a clever little circuit inside here that lets us parallel connect the dual buttons while still maintaining a potentiometer or three position switch on the setup. So here on this bike, uh, we've got a potentiometer on the right side of the handlebar and we have dual push buttons on the left side. And as you see, I've got it set up now, so if I turn my potentiometer, I'm setting my pedal assist factor, so this is how much it's multiplying my pedal effort. And if I push the buttons on the left, I'm controlling what's the maximum power limit on the bicycle. Uh, this is done. We go into the setup menu. Uh, you can see here, uh, so setup box analog. This is just giving a preview of the voltage that the cycle analyst sees on the analog input. Um, you can see now that as I turn the potentiometer, it's scrolling in voltage, but it doesn't go all the way down from zero volts. It limits itself to 0.8 volts when I turn that to the minimum. Uh, when I push a button, you see the top button drops it to zero volts, the bottom button drops it between 0.4 to 0.5 volts. So that's how the cycle analyst knows when you're pushing a button, when you're not pushing a button, it's able to read what's going on with the potentiometer here. And the setup and configuration is just like you're used to, only now you get to choose, do you have a potentiometer control, or do you have a two-position switch, or a three-position switch, in fact. Um, in our case, we have a potentiometer, and going to the function, this is just mirrored exactly like we saw for the digital auxiliary input. Uh, so I, now I have it set up for my pedal assist level. Um, you could have it turned off. You could set it for your amps limit, the speed limit, uh, this new feature that we discussed limiting the throttle output voltage. Um, what you don't see here is the power level, and that's because the digital configuration is already using power limiting, so that doesn't show up in the analog menu option. If I was to change my digital input to be, say, the pedal assist level, then I would have a power limit here, but I wouldn't see the pedal assist level. So only one of the controls uh, can control any one of those limits at a time. So if instead of having the potentiometer on my bike, I had the uh, three existing three position switch, then in my setup menu, in my control type, I'll choose three position switch. Now in the previous 3.0 software, configuring what percentage each of these switch position was, was a little bit cumbersome because you had to do it with your upper and lower voltage thresholds. In the 3.1 firmware, we've made this a lot more convenient as you'll see right here. So I'm setting it up for my speed limit. Now I set what's the medium switch position. So when I'm in the uh, mid switch level and say 65%, say I want that to be 80% of my maximum speed limit. And then I set the low position switch level. So when I'm in position one on my three-way switch, here I might want to have, say, 50%. Perfect. Um, so now I should swap this out for the three position switch, but what you would see when I switch between those positions is it will jump discreetly at the 50% and the 80% and 100% of the speed limits in each of those three switch settings.